Hi everyone, welcome to our second physics video on working principles of AC generator. Now, this is a bicycle dynamo headlight. It uses the rotation of the bicycle wheel to generate electricity. The dynamo then produces an electric current which is then delivered to the lights. The generation of electric current to light up the headlight is possible because of the rotation of the magnet in the generator. This produces an interaction of magnetic fields between the permanent magnet and the coils. Sounds familiar? Now let's head back to the studio. In our previous video, we demonstrated how turning the coil of a simplified AC generator demonstration kit where there is interaction of magnetic fields induces alternating current as captured by the deflecting galvanometer. Such interaction of magnetic fields is possible due to a mechanical force turning the coil. The change in direction of the galvanometer pointer indicates the changing direction of the current. In a bicycle generator, it is the turning of the wheels which turns the magnet within the generator. In this video, we will use the concepts of interacting magnetic fields and the design of the AC generator to explain how a current of changing direction is produced in the external circuit. Here I have a simulator of the AC generator. With the coil rotating in anti-clockwise direction, we will study the direction of current within the coil and in the external circuit. Let's focus on one charge in the coil. When the coil moves to the zero degree position, the charge moves through the path as shown. This is like a conventional current moving upwards. A magnetic field is also generated around the charge as shown by the concentric circles. From the interaction of this magnetic field and the magnetic field from the permanent magnet, we can deduce the resultant magnetic force acting on the charge using Fleming's left hand rule. The magnetic force acting on the charge is as shown. This magnetic force acting on the charge causes the charge to move along the coil, hence induce current in the direction as shown. For simplicity, let's assume the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer follows the direction of the conventional current. When the coil moves from 0 degree to 90 degrees, the direction of the current remains the same, but the magnitude of the induced current reduces to 0 and 90 degrees. At 90 degrees, the relative motion of a single charge gives the direction of the conventional current. The magnetic field of the conventional current in this position is perpendicular to the magnetic field from the U-shaped bar magnet. Thus, there is no magnetic force acting along the coil and there will be no induced current. Let us look at how the direction of the current changes as it goes through one full rotation. At the same time, observe the induced current against the angle of rotation graph plotted. The current changes direction as the coil crosses the 90 degrees and the 270 degrees positions, which is also indicated by the galvanometer and the direction of the current. The slip rings communicate these changes in the direction of the current to the external circuit. As the coil crosses the 90 degrees, and 270 degrees positions. This produces the alternating current as shown. Do you know that this concept also applies to the generators found in Singapore's power plants? Can you think of any more applications? See you next time. Have fun with physics.